Now let's open this up it's by Ludi Creations. Uh, each year, Vernon Cabbagehead, or Mr. Cabbagehead to his friends, wants nothing more than to be left in peace to grow his award-winning vegetable garden for the annual Blue Ribbon Garden Club contest. However, his tedious neighbours bother him so much that he needs to go on holidays to the beach several times during the summer months just to get away from them. When he is gone, his neighbours may drop by to help themselves to his garden produce. Can you help Mr. Cabbagehead tend to his garden and finally win the blue ribbon while keeping his tiresome neighbours away? Components base game, we've got 52 cards, 4 neighbour tiles, 24 neighbour tokens, 1 Eudora slash scoring tile, 1 beehive slash reference tile, and 6 bee tokens. Uh, in the expansions, you get 6 new neighbour tiles and 36 tokens, 1 grasshopper card and 4 tokens, 4 Romancing Eudora cards, 1 Maisie Ballantine tile and 6 tokens, 1 Carl Rotabadge, Rota Cabbage? Rotabadge tile and 6 tokens, uh, 1 Letitia Colwart tile and 6 tokens, and 1 Dante Morn tile and 6 tokens. Uh, deluxe components, you get 6 custom shaped wooden bee tokens and 1 custom burlap bag. Can see them all there as well uh, with the bag so uh, let's have a look at at this uh, see the side uh, we've got mr cabbage heads garden deluxe uh, it's for one to two players it's 15 to 20 minutes and it's for ages 14 plus there's the bottom there's the other side the same as the first side and the top so let's open this up Careful slip down that side, careful slip down that side and across the top. And we can pull that away with a final cut and down the bottom. Let's put it upright. Uh, again, put that to one side and we've got all our cards there. They look quite nice, nicely sealed as well. Uh, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six tokens there. They look very nice. There's our bag. Sanders Select Series Seeds Guaranteed to Grow. Nice drawstring bag there. We've got, this looks like the rule book. A very nice rule book. That's there. It feels nice. A couple of staples down the side. Looks like it's very well written. It's even got a table of contents. That's nice. The components in the base game and the expansions. It's got the rules for one player. So it's a one player game. The setup there. Example setup diagram. Gameplay. Uh, the planting phase. And go through that with a few nice examples. Very well laid out. The neighbor phase and evaluation. Good examples, good good uh, pointers there and pictures to help. Uh, and awards of merit, you can see there. Uh, you've got the Garden Club prize on this page. This one talks about the original Neighbours. That's, that's one of the expansions, if I remember. Then the new Neighbours expansion explained here. Expansions for Grasshoppers and Romancing Eudora. Uh, we've got the rules for two players, the setup and the gameplay. Again, the planting phase. And finally, uh, the neighbor phase and evaluation. So 20 pages overall, very nicely laid out rule book. Put that one there. We have quite a few punch boards. I'll just tip them into my hand. Uh, now we didn't see the underside of that box, but you can see there, that looks very nice. I love it when they do that effect and they've done it for the inside of the base as well. Uh, and uh, you can see there, just a, some nice writing around the inside cover as well. That's always a good little touch to have there. So we've got uh, punch boards. Uh, I've got one punch board there. Oh, we've got two together, sorry. Uh, folds out, punch board, there we go. That's why it looked the way it was. So punch board there and there. Uh, Semi-double-sided, or they are double-sided. They've got different things on each side. 
Uh, we've got another fold out double sided punch board there. Carrot body Cal Callahan O'Corn Cob. Uh, another one. The Furwig Radishes. And the bottom one there. Finally, these two, which are not connected together. A little punch tokens down the bottom they look kind of cute as well so that's what's in the box of mr cabbage heads garden deluxe i'm going to punch these out now you can stay around and watch if you want uh, i find it very satisfying a lot of the time uh, you can see the way i do it as well uh, so i just go through punching them all out making sure that's clear they'll be thrown out we've got this one now put all the like tokens together. Uh, no plastic bags with this box. Interesting. All done there. That can be thrown out now. It's nice when they include plastic bags in the box as well so that once you take out all your tokens obviously you've got somewhere to store them straight away and immediately. I'm going to have to go down to my local Officeworks store uh, and buy some more plastic bags to put these in. I don't like using rubber bands. Uh, I also find it's nice when after you punch these out there is room in the box to store everything. We'll see how that goes even with plastic bags around all of these tokens. So almost there. This is the last one. Punching out some nice bees and some grasshoppers from this punch board. I've got two spare here just there. That one's fallen out. Take that out. Not too sure if that's on purpose or not. Looks like they should have been printed with something. So again, I'll just show you those there. Uh, and we can go back and look at that a bit later. I'll punch them out. Oh no, they do have a back. That's interesting. I need to go through that again and find out what was going on there. So that's all of it. Uh, you can see all the components there. We did get a plastic bag, obviously, for those uh, lovely wooden extras there. I will open the card. cards again, cards at the moment. Let's see if I can get into there. Uh, what did I do with my knife? I chucked the knife over there, slitting it in carefully. So we can see all the cards that we have here. Sometimes I like it when they've got a little um, opening thing going around it. It feels like they might have one, but they haven't imprinted it in gold so you can see it easily, uh, which helps take the wrapping off. So let's just quickly go through these cards. You can see there, different points values on them. Uh, beans, we've got turnips, carrots. Again, you can see the different points value 36, 28, 39 and 1. Uh, five, three, nine, and one. So it looks like a 67, seven, three, and three. Salsa fies. Uh, rutabaga. Rutabaga. Lettuce. A few cards there. Peppers. I love peppers. Radishes. Getting used to them. Uh, pumpkins. Absolutely love pumpkins, especially when they're in that come out of the oven. Um, we've got couple of cards here place across two vegetables whose types do not match and whose points value are both odd looks like you get five for that um, and the Eudora the grasshoppers on holiday uh, this looks like uh, player aid cards so that's quite nice there game with one player uh, evaluation phase and two players on that one there uh, we get an example of the awards of merit, what they look like as well. And as we've seen, we can read them in the rule book. So overall, nice com component quality um, and a nice simple game in a nice simple box. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like and share with your friends.